What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV and the final Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered Supply Drip opening of the year. I've collected 240 Depot credits. Clearly I haven't been playing the game as much as usual. I've been playing a lot of Destiny 2 and just catching up on Infinite Warfare stuff like that since my last opening. So it's not going to be a huge opening today. 240 credits is 8 rare supply drops. It's probably the smallest opening I've done all year, but I thought it'd be a little fun to do an opening for the final Modern Warfare Remastered video because World War II releases next week. And once World War II hits, well, there's no updates coming to Modern Warfare Remastered anyways, so there's really no point in coming back to Modern Warfare Remastered except for in the far future if they announce Modern Warfare 2 Remastered or something like that, I'll likely use Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay, but... In terms of official Modern Wolf Remastered series, we're pretty much done after this. So this is the final Modern Wolf Remastered video. For the rest of the week, I'll have some Destiny 2 on the lead up to Call of Duty World War 2. And then it's just going to be a mad scramble to just post as many World War 2 videos as I possibly can. It's going to be daily World War 2 for a solid month at least. But... Without further ado, I'm going to be opening Copperhead Supply Drops just because I don't have as many items from Copperhead. There's now 203 friggin' collections in this game, so there's so many items that I haven't yet got. So it's unfortunate. I think I'm looking for two weapons, maybe? Like, I'm, I'm out two weapons. Like, two real weapons in terms of, like, weapons that actually shoot. Or, oh yeah, they added more, they added more, okay. I need the Rangers, the BR-9, the PKPSD-9, and then I have all the weapons here, and then the only other weapon that I need is from back a while ago, and that's the Procolot, which apparently isn't that good. So, yeah, these are all on Copperhead anyway, so I'm just going to go for Copperhead. I already have two out of six for the Rangers and for the PKPSD-9, so uh, hopefully we can get lucky, get some of those items. Unfortunately, I can't open up any of these special collector bundles, they've been adding these things in for a while now where it's like oh guaranteed a, a, items from a weapon collection or guaranteed items you don't have but they're always cod points i've talked about this in the past it's just super annoying so we're just going to open up the regular rare supply drops and uh, get started here so eight supply drops honestly it should do me pretty well because the supply drops are pretty great in this game they drop fairly easily Barber, Flow, I'm looking at the top names because I'm looking for those categories, the weapon categories that I'm really, is what I'm really going for. Like the only thing that I would really consider great at this point is getting a new weapon. The kits are kind of old, the camos are kind of old. That's the Sarsaparilla from the Rangers. That's actually awesome. That's the epic item. That thing would normally cost 3,200 salvage, which I don't even have yet. So that's actually going to make getting the Rangers super, super easy. We can probably buy those by the end of this video now. That was one of the items that I've needed for a long, long time. It's always about those. It's always about getting those epics, getting those melee weapons. So that's pretty sweet. These are a bunch of emblems, calling cards, monarch. These are like some of those kits or some of those uh, combinations, those collections that I don't really care about. Because they're like emblems or calling cards. Like special emblems and calling cards. I could care less. Splash I already have. I know that for sure. Tribal. That's like a melee weapon I think. If you get that whole collection. So I mean okay. I'm not a big melee weapon user. I barely ever take them out when I'm playing online. In fact I thought recently I might start taking my melee weapons off. Because I've noticed like if I'm in a mad scramble. I'm like trying to... I'm trying to fight someone off and I try to switch to my secondary. I might hold triangle a little too long and then it will just, I'll switch to my melee weapon. And currently I'm using the shamrock blade and that thing takes a very long time to take out. You have to like take it out and pull it out of the sleeve. And by the time you do all that, you're dead. So if I didn't have a melee weapon on, it would only be able to switch to my secondary, which might be a better idea. Graffiti, Jester I already have and Mudder I already have. That's a bunch of duplicates. We have two more supply drops to open, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to buy Rangers at this point, which is pretty sweet. That's three legendaries. Hopefully we can get some PK PSD9, unless I already have the legendary from that set. And that's more uh, emblems and iris, I think might be a weapon kit. And the final supply drop of 2017. And it's going to be a rare two legendaries, Phantasm, Nitro, and Slate. I already have Slate. I have that whole kit, or that whole collection, I mean. So we're up to 5,000 salvage. 
And uh, we're going to have to take a look at these collections here. I can guarantee you I'll be able to buy these Rangers now. Because that it was always about that epic item. That epic that bottle, that Sarsaparilla bottle, which is the exact same as the very first melee weapon that was ever added to this game. It's just a bottle with a different skin. Was the only thing holding me back. Because that thing normally cost 3600 So I was like, or 32 or 3600 So I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm buying that just to get the Rangers. Which really shouldn't even be that good in this game. Because the game is such a long range kind of gunfight game. But look at this. We've pretty much got everything here now. Except for a couple really cheap uh, commons and rares. That so that's the Rangers. We've got the dual wield Rangers now. It's pretty cool. Unfortunately, the game's kind of over now. So it doesn't really matter. But I'll, I'll try them out anyways. Uh, a little bit later today. And what are the other weapons that we needed here? Uh, Wolfen. That's like the stupidest weapon kit in the game. I was looking for the PKBSD9, which I don't have the epic item for. I could actually buy this, though. I think I can afford all of those items, including the epic, to get that PKBSD9. There's another weapon in here, too. Oh, yeah, the BR9. That's a pistol, which I don't think I have the epic for yet, either. I'm not really sure on this one. Yeah, I don't have the epic. And this one has a melee weapon, the point knife. 36 freaking 100. So it is 3600, not 32. I'm not about to spend 3600 on one item because that'll be all of my salvage. I won't even be able to afford any of the other items just to get a pistol. I don't know why they always put the epic items. I've noticed all the way through the year, they put the epic melee items on the shotguns and the pistols pretty much exclusively. Like even the assault rifles, some of the best weapons in the game, like the, uh, the BOS 14 or the new Lynx assault rifle, they don't have these epic melee items on them and you can just buy them super, super easily really cheap and then you can just use them and they're really good whereas like a pistol or a shotgun and they're going to make you spend an extraordinary amount of salvage like an extraordinary amount of time playing the game to get that much salvage to to use these weapons that probably aren't even that good but i should be able to afford this one. Oh yeah i can afford it easily look amigo so that's a pkpsd9 too so we got two two weapons out of this supply drop opening considering we only opened eight supply drops i mean that's pretty damn good so we got the pk bsd9 which is actually the procolot but it's like in a weapon frame i don't know if you guys notice this but i think it's like during a weapon inspection or something with this weapon you can actually take the procolot out of the pk psd9 it's just like a it's like a fancy weapon frame really for the pistol which makes it into a, a pretty good submachine gun i've been one one bursted from this thing across the map before like it's pretty powerful it's like the uh submachine gun equivalent to the m16 and then the other item we were looking for was this last pistol and that's the procolot if i could find it here procolot i don't have the epic item again it's got the epic melee item the machete which is like another 3600 i don't know why they do that but in terms of like weapon kits i don't know if there's anything else i want to buy here i only have a thousand so i don't even think i can complete any collections really um i mean i have yeah even this you need 2000 there's two epic camos here to just get this this crappy camouflage like that's pretty crazy uh center mass for the assault rifles uh it's not that great i don't think it's okay but i again i don't have any of the items really we're looking through danger close yeah because you're gonna run around and hit people with a with an rpg um, Dawn is actually a pretty cool weapon kit. It's like the, uh, Kingpin for the SMGs, but it's for the, uh, assault rifles. It's all gold. I don't really care for the wood frame on that one either. It's just, it would be better if it was all kind of gold and stuff. This is probably my favorite weapon kit from Copperhead, Fire Drake. It's kind of like a low light, like orangey yellow gold. It's really, really nice looking. I can only imagine what it looks like when you combine it with something like regal camouflage it would probably look really really nice uh foliage is nice as well because it's kind of like that traditional autumn camo a little bit it looks pretty nice um and honestly i could probably buy that one but it's nice but i don't know if it's worth all of them i i don't think it's worth all of the money and i can barely afford that i don't know if i can afford that actually it's gonna be pretty close gilly for the sniper rifles iris so that is a camouflage for the submachine guns which isn't really that great looks like spider eyes or something like that liquidator which is a weapon kit for the shotguns that's kind of like your uh, warfighter or whatever 
the one that's like kind of or your reactive kit i guess for the shotguns which isn't actually too bad and it's really cheap i might i might actually buy that one just to have it just to put on those new rangers that i have make them look pretty cool while i'm running around um primordial reaper is one of those terrible terrible weapon kits where it's just a picture on your gun hate those ones relic is actually really nice as well for the pistols but i mean it's a pistol kit so i mean you're not really going to use your pistols too much i just like the uh kind of classic like viking look that it has it's really nice slate i've already got which is actually one of my favorite weapon kits for the snipers spec ops is kind of similar to that reactive kit but for your pistols um i mean there's not really anything like i'm jumping for joy to get here urban operator is like that that kind of warfightery style one for your smgs war scarred for the shotguns that's the one that's all ripped up with like tape and stuff weapons free and the wolfen which again is just like a picture on your gun of a werewolf or something really ridiculous the only other things i was looking for was there was a couple weapon kits from like lion strike i believe there was like an older older weapon kit like i think it was called war something it was for the assault rifles it was basically reactive but for the assault rifles and it's one of my favorite kits in the game but you I, i've had a really tough time getting it i don't think i've had here it is tactical fighter yeah i still need the epic and the legendary but this is a really really cool weapon kit it's like reactive but for the assault rifles so it's like kind of futuristic looking like really technological techno technology based i love that m4 i love the iron sights of that m4 it just looks so clean m4 is my favorite weapon in the game so i mean i really really want that but i obviously i can't afford it urban warfare is that warfighter type one for your shotguns i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna buy that shotgun one i can't remember what it was called it was basically like the one we were just looking at tactical fighter but for the shotguns liquidator that's what it's called right there i'm gonna get this one just to go with my new rangers that i just got make them look really cool i don't really have any other shotgun kits i think i've like i've like the frag shotgun kit where it's like all bloody and stuff but it's nothing special but i mean this looks pretty cool in the rangers like th those look pretty futuristic that's like some terminator style shit so um that's pretty much it for today's video guys i opened some supply drops eight supply drops to be exact and um now we're out of depot credits until the next time which isn't going to be there's not going to be a next time because it's just gonna takes too long to earn up all these depot credits by the time i earn enough depot credits world war ii is going to be out and then it's just going to be like who cares about this game anymore so i'll use these rangers if i find anything like super interesting about them i might make a video but i mean i really doubt it like it's just too late at this point and i cannot wait for call of duty world war ii i can't wait to make you guys some videos uh, on that game it's going to be a super fun game and from the looks of it uh, youtube is actually being a little bit more lenient with uh call of duty world war ii they recently released an update which i might make it i might make a video on its own just to talk about this because it's pretty awesome but it looks like the apocalypse might be over for youtube uh, they released an update for their demonetization system which has basically re-monetized pretty much every video that I had demonetized, like 60 plus videos. They've all been monetized again because there's some update to their algorithm that's made it realize what it's been doing wrong with false flagging videos as not advertiser friendly. So it's basically made every single video except for one of mine demonetized or unmonetized, undemonetized. They're all monetized again. So that includes World War II videos. So if this continues, hopefully World War II is gonna be safe, which would be awesome because that would help out like every Call of Duty YouTuber ever. So hopefully we get we get lucky with this Call of Duty World War II stuff. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna go use these Rangers now. They look pretty sweet with the exclusion zone. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. All of my social media links are in the description. My Patreon page where you can support for $1 a month and get your name in the description credits of every single video. You can follow me on Twitter for all the recent updates and stuff like that. My Twitch, all kinds of stuff down there. So make sure you head into the description. Check out some of my social media. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn on your notifications with that little bell. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.